I learned a lot from a couple years of living. The up and downs and the choices that we give him and the decisions that we make as a my attempt, he came into my room and he said, Kevin, I'm very worried about you. You seem, you've been erratic for the last few days. Why don't you come to work with me today? Oh boy, what does he do? He's a, he was a banker, he's okay. retired. Right. Uh, and he said, why don't you come to work with me today? I said, no, Dad, I, uh, I feel better. I have to go to City College today. I have a math test. But it's also, you probably felt a tremendous amount of guilt where the Heinz took you in and, and, and yet you were going to really disappoint Mom and well, Dad. Yeah, no doubt. They, it wasn't the Heinz. They are Mom and Dad, you know? And, right. And, and, my, and my brother and my sister, three kids from three separate families into one family, we all have issues. Right. Um, even though our nurturing was so wonderful. And I felt terrible, and I've and and, and that guilt um, is really hard to deal with, both for the family who who loses the loved one or who has the loved one attempt, or for the person who's going through it because you feel this perceived burdensomeness right. on everyone who loves you. And you, in my situation, Tim, when I was at the bridge, I thought that my family wanted me dead. I oh, thought really? that because of my delusions, I thought they hated wow. me, they wanted me dead, and if I had just Tim asked them if that was the case. They would have broken this wide open. Sure. And, right. and I was so, uh, you know, my dad tried that morning. He did the best he could with what he knew. But my father wasn't trained in suicide prevention. Had he been, who knows? I'm not going to say in hindsight what would have or could have happened. Right. I will tell you this. If you're out there and you love someone in this kind of pain right now, if you know someone who is uh, going through mental or I call it brain pain, right? Uh, the last thing you want to do is be judgmental and say things like, you know, don't feel that way or you shouldn't feel this way or that's selfish. That's Just the get last over thing it, you want to do. Get over it. Right. Snap out of it. That's those are the last things you want to do. What you do want to do is say is sit down, have a real open conversation, and say, listen, you've been acting erratically. I'm very very worried about you, and I want to ask you a couple of questions. And that person's going to react how they do. And if it's if it, if they're ready to listen, you say. Are you in danger of suicide? And do you have a plan? Here's why you do that. Everybody thinks, it's a myth, everybody thinks if you ask the question, that'll put the thought in their mind. Not if they are not thinking about it. You're not gonna put the thought of suicide in someone's mind who is not suicidal. Right. That myth is ridiculous. What you are gonna do to someone who is in that desperate pain is give them an opportunity. You've just, you've just given them permission to tell their truth. Check it out. Yeah, some people know the truth and all the shit that I've been through. Diamond in the rough, it's time to convince you. I'm about to change the world, that's all that I'm into. Even though a couple true friends is essential. Before you think big, boy, you gotta think simple. Build your foundation and focus your mental.